The overall aim of this procedure is to orally administer materials to the intestinal lumen of zebrafish larvae. First, the larvae are anesthetized and placed onto an injection mold lined with methyl cellulose. Next, the larvae are gently submerged into the mold and aligned with the angle of the gavage needle and micro manipulator. The needle is then inserted into a larva's mouth and maneuvered into the intestinal bulb. Once in place, the material is released into the lumen. The final step is to extract the larva from the methyl cellulose and place it in fresh media to recover from anesthesia. Ultimately, this method can be used to deliver materials specifically to the intestinal lumen of zebrafish larvae where transport within the intestine or in extra-intestinal tissues can be studied. The main advantage of this technique over existing methods, such as immersion into water containing the material of interest, is that the amount of material delivered into the animal, as well as the timing and dosage, can be rigorously controlled. This decreases experimental variability and in some cases toxicity associated with certain materials. We first had the idea for this method when we had difficulty applying certain fluorescent probes at high enough levels to be detectable in the intestinal epithelium by microscopy. High concentrations would sometimes kill the fish and still not yield high enough fluorescent signal for imaging. To begin, pull several gavage needles using a micropipette puller and borosilicate glass capillaries. Move to a stereo microscope to clip the needles. First, 